found it, even under all the muck in the gnote pen. Hard to believe the gnotes didn't trample it. The kind of pollution a gnote produces might stink, but it usually washes away in the next rain. You should keep moving. Can't let those gnotes blaze the trails for you. You're maybe not sure you want to leave. Some wood scrap. Always happy to find that. A fall in the mountains could be fatal. You found the Majut Meadow. Watch out for the Majut.
Adrulneo Matrajo. Edro Chodim. Says you always bring fresh viewpoints. Adrulneo Matrajo. Edro Chodim. Nice and clear out today. Now that the Majut is back in the pen, it seems calm. But Noko is still concerned. Andro? She says the Majut is still anxious, but fortunately she knows just the thing it needs to calm down. Monibasa, Andro? The Majut once found and ate a bonbon gummy by mistake, and that the chewing really calmed it down. Inadabsunka, Monibasa, Asana Yotpa. She says that you should find some bonbon gummies for the Majut by the crossway. At least, that's where she found some last time. It was the mere sound of the hoof puff that started it. She's never seen it so upset. It just ran away before. You need to point its face in the right direction. Cranks like these usually need to be wound to operate the dispenser. Just a few moves left, make them count. What you see is what you get, once it's out of the blind box, that is.
It's all about destiny. Yours, mine, the entire world's. Don't tip over. Heroes are only heroes for others, but they do the work, or they're heroes to no one. Nothing like a story with an unexpected ending.
Excellent balance. With its attention diverted to the chewy bonbon gummy, the Majut calms down. But Noko is still concerned. She's relieved the Majut has calmed down, but you'll need a heavier sit tight to ride it than the one she's got. The only sit tight she can think of that would be heavy enough is one she's spotted mounted on an old world mecha majut. If she remembers correctly, she spotted it at the Smilo Shopperia while scavenging for treats for the gnotes. That's not so far away. Seems to her they preferred the Mechamajuts over the living counterparts in the old world. Maybe the gnotes were near extinct? Don't hug your mount, it's not your friend. That's it. An old home that still Right between the eyes. Cranks need to be unturned in the right order. Just a few moves left, make them count.
Looks good. Don't let your mount ignore you. You finally found the village of Bumlidoff. Let's see. Gripes about how everyone looks like they crawled from the underworld these days. 
Ben and Lassie Taylor is so much. Wishes they knew where their friend Trim is right now. Ben and Lassie Taylor is so much. There's no better fur dresser in the world. Says they can see by the state of your fur that you really don't know. Complains Spurf Top is a little too far, even though this woolly coat that requires furious daily care is in dire need of a trim, as you can see. If you see him, be sure to ask him to give you a makeover. Not that you need it, but you do need it. Thinks you won't regret it. Says the state of the goo has grossed over time. It's a miracle anything still lives in it. It's hard for all sorts of guppo to breathe while coated in gunk, not to mention swim. If it wasn't for Gil, who gives them a good scrub now and then, they'd probably be dead and gone. Figures you can find Gil at Burble Bottom. Never leaves his little oasis for long. Says there's a lot of shore, but you look for a clean part of it and Gil will be there with you. He tries to clean things up to give the guppo a chance. Good to see someone care about a dying world. Says they're supposed to be good company if you have a clean bowl. This story needs a hero. Thinks the world seems smaller now it's spinning down the drain. They saw a Terra Globus a while back, a round world map. Something like that might do a traveler like you some good. Says it's like a regular map, but you spin it. Says the Terra Globus would be easier to find if you had it, right? A world map like the Terra Globus would be so useful for a wanderer like Most never wander out of their region, but you, you're ready to see the world. thinks you're the right person for the globe.
The light of day shows how bad the world has become. Bang Shelter 6i is right here. Seems like it's in working order too. You're here for a reason. It's up to you to figure out what that is. Glad to see some wood strap there. Eh? move before it decides to have lunch. Yuck! That there's a sludge gush field where the company used to suck sludge from the underground. Now it's all over.
looks valuable. Milo Shopperia. Yes, shopping here for a smile. Boxes like this are few and far between. However, that's no great loss. Talking pictures from the aforetimes lacked a message. Take this seriously, or it'll take you down. Gonna need a key of some kind. Up for grabs. You need to line up the switches so they match. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and Activate the framework. Be on the watch for a way out. Now hold on, sit tight. If you need to loosen the bolts without rattling the mechamajut. Just a few moves left, make them count. That's it, the sit tight is loose. Time to stop horsing around and get the sit tight back to Noko.
Just a few moves left. Make them count. As the iBox broadcasts, it's hit or miss, but when it does hit, it's usually right in the fields. Day's about to expire. That notice board is cleaner than just about anything else around here. You're nudging up toward a played out sludge field. Just follow your nose. This place used to pump sludge from the ground for fuel. If you think... Not much anymore. Toxanol was bad at all sorts of things. But when it came to taking anything useful away, they got awful good at that. You can probably find a track around here if you look hard enough. You need lockery lock. Grab tight and don't let go. Ah. 
Ah, see that e-waste? Always handy. Let's get that mount moving while the getting is good. Best part of a mount? No need to refuel. Beri, kealdo male kanodo, puri kumbala muma. Now that the Majut's got a mouthful of Bon Bon Gummy and the brand new sit tight is in place, the Majut is ready to ride. Noko's been training another fantabulous little critter that'll hopefully become a distraction for the hoof puff when you confront it. She's called them glitter moths, and the best way to find them is to go talk to Mito. She's asked him to keep them somewhere safe. You'll find Mito at Brightlight. He's a light-headed fellow, but hopefully he'll remember where he stored the moths. 
They're small airborne creatures with bright reflective wings and a conspicuous fluttering flight. Nocco is always Ganaruta. hopes to see you again soon. It's gone from being late to being early. Don't know what that e waste was. Sai <laughs> Kantum. <laughs> Let's see. With the world getting darker by the day, there's not much time left to save it. And even though you've just met, he feels you're bound to play a huge part in that. Says there's so much darkness to deal with. Rather than curse it, he makes lamps to fight it. You found your way through the darkness. You shine like the sun in the sky. But will you use that power to warm the world or burn it? Hopes you see how much good you can do with power like that and how easy it is to let it drive you mad. No matter where your path takes you, though, it's important to remember where you came from. The past bright lights the present. Wonders if you know how much of an effect you've had upon the world. Your presence changes things like light changes darkness. Did you realize that when choosing where to shine? Figures that doesn't matter. You can't help but shine either way. So happy you know you're helping brighten the world. There's plenty of it that's still worth saving. Whatever happens to the world, you shone as bright as you could. That matters more than you know. Says you did the right thing in taking up with the myriad. They buy lots of his lamps. That's a tribe that believes in the bright things in the world. Claims he wasn't trying to sell you anything. Now, says he can see by the twinkle in your eyes that you're not here to talk about your allies. He assumes you are here to be enlightened. He can't blame you as everything just feels dark and hopeless these days. There's something about you, like you're knit together. Your fate's connected. 
what you've said, he feels too. So, why not call him Me Too? He senses you're like the dayfly, living every day like it's your last, afraid that when night comes, it might be proved right. Claims you both walk in different types of darkness, but you guide yourself by the same light. Mito says he's not only into those who shine bright, he likes things that glitter too. He reckons you haven't seen a glitter moth and says it's about time you did. Even though they're nesting near gone grass, they never run out of glow. Finding yourself a glitter moth would give you that glimmer of hope you need to continue all the way to the end. Glows with delight at your bright passion for the light.